Hey guys, uh, current energy check-ins, if Juno lets us. Are you gonna? Crazy's right here. <laughs> She's in crazy mode. She's in crazy mode. She's growing up, my baby girl. You crazy? You cray cray? You cray cray? Huh? Yeah, she's cray cray. Man, she was settling down. Um. Yeah. Do I have anything to say before we get going? I'm like, I, I don't want to like. I, I, I don't want to like. Ah, I, I don't want to like. I don't want to start reading so abrupt. Oh, there's a collaboration coming soon with um, someone. <laughs> I'm not going to give out anything yet. Um, we're working on it. A reading for all signs with someone. Uh, that I learned to read cards with the help of. Is that? Well, she was putting out classes and I took them and that's how I learned. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see the different styles in reading because a lot of the times I get, can you teach, can you teach tarot, can you teach? I can teach, everybody can teach that does it. Um, <clears throat> it's a matter of, you know, sorting out what each card means and all things like that. But um, the way you're going to read is going to be very different than mine and that's okay. My style of reading, I can't really teach it because it comes from my own intuition, which everybody has their own. Um, but you can learn the cards, yes. And um, that's what I did basically with this class that was offered. And um, I'm gonna be doing a video. We're gonna be doing a video together uh, soon. It'll be announced in the community page. You'll know about it. Do you know, settle down. You'll know about it, so don't worry about it. We're, I'm just not giving out any details because we're still working on them. So um, you'll you'll know. Probably next Friday. Yeah, you'll see. Um, but um, I think that's it. Anything else? Does anybody know how long? <laughs> I just had a kitten, and I'm asking this question. How long the kitten stage takes? And Kai just turned one, so I, I, I just... He's still a kitten. So, um... Cause she's in crazy mode when she's being kitten energy. Yeah! She wants to sleep now. Who the hell can understand what's going on here? You know, a minute ago she was bouncing off the walls and now she's like, I don't wanna sleep. I know you wanna sleep, baby girl. Um... Yeah, disregard that question. That's it. We're, I think we're set to go for this one. Current energy check-ins for the weekend. I'll be going through each sign individually by elements. Um, earth signs, fire signs, air signs, and water signs. Uh, it'll be quick, to the point, no clarification. Whatever comes out, comes out for the Friday video. There will be no extended for the Friday videos. Timestamps will be below in the description box, in the comment section, on the play bar. Um, I'll be looking into where you're at energetically in regards to another energy, which could be that of a person or a situation. Um, where the other energy is at in regards to you, where the connected energies are at. And then I'll be pulling cards for each sign uh, from the universe. Uh, roles can be reversed, so even though I say sometimes this is you, it doesn't have to be. Um, I think that's it. Spring is coming. Uh, my favorite time of the year um, is summer, because, you know, I'm a Leo. But um, spring is my second favorite. I don't even know. It's, it's hard to decide. All of the seasons have their own freaking beauty. It's very hard to do. It's a, this, this one's my favorite. I don't know. They're all quite... They bring something else to the table. My favorite. There is no such thing. Is there? Well, the, the vanity of Leo may be putting me into summer, summertime. I love the sun, but the sun can be coming in through winter too. 
through spring, through autumn, anytime. So the sun is always there. So that would make summer not necessarily my favorite. Oh God, here I go. Okay, uh, I think we're good to go. If I have room. Do I have room? Do I have permission? You almighty diva. I think I do. All right. Uh, Earth signs. Capricorn. Be <clears throat> happy, happy. Let's see. This one has to come out, so we'll take it. Uh, thank you for pushing me to the side. Okay, on your side, you get the Ten of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. Man, you're struggling here. You're trying to bring up something new. You're trying to create something new. There's a new beginning waiting just around the corner, and you see it, and you're like, yay, I want it. But it's tough. Something is creating some tough energies around that for some reason. You're relentless though, you're like, yeah, well, I don't care. Even if it's tough, I'm not gonna give it up. So I don't know what this is about, if it's in regards to a job, to a person, to, I don't know. Um, the energy attached to you though, they get the Empress, the Two of Swords, the Six of Cups. They're feeling some sort of attachment, some sort of a, uh, one of those soul connections, kind of like, oh man, there's something about Cappy, I can't, I don't know, they're, they're, they're it. But the problem is they're overthinking the situation. So I don't see them necessarily uh, coming through very clear towards me nor towards you. Uh, for the connection, the Nine of Swords, the Fool, the Ace of Swords. Yeah, somebody does want to come in. Somebody does want to, yay, roar, let's go. Um, but they're coming from that energy of stressed out, like... You know how it is, it's not gonna come in clear. An energy that comes in from a place of confusion, it's gonna come out a little redundant, a little all over the place. Like, what the hell is this? Well, they don't have it clear for themselves. Well, then make them have it clear and then come back with that energy, you know? It kind of feels like that, because the, the intention is clear. The What they feel is clear. How they integrate that and how they align with that is not. That's where the problem is. So I don't know, I see a little bit of a bumpy interaction, if there's any. Uh, let's see what the universe has. The devil, oh, oh. the lovers, the devil, the ten of swords, <laughs> the devil jumped out like, I want to go first. Uh, so the lovers, the devil, the ten of swords, I don't know. This seems like it's either something that was quite unhealthy here is coming to an end or this whole connection is coming to an end because it's unhealthy. So, I'm not sure. And I feel like you're the one that's closing it. You're showing up here with the devil, kind of putting an end to it. I'm like, no, not it. But I feel like your energy that I read in your reading was attached to something else, not necessarily to this connection, but this connection wants to come through. Anyways, uh, it could be attached to the connection. What the hell do I know? Ah, I don't know. Shit. But that's it, Cappy. <clears throat> and then this happens, and then I'm like, oh, you're so cute. And she's purring. She's a loud purr. And now I'm in the middle of a reading, I have to move. Because she does this every night anyway. That's it. Let's move it on to Taurus. She's sitting right in the middle of where I work. And sometimes it's, um, I, mean, I have to go diagonal, I have to go, uh, uh, but um, why the hell not? At least she's sleeping, because when she goes crazy, it's a lot. Kitten energy is a lot sometimes. 
Poppy energy is a lot. I forgot. With Oscar, he was just a few days when I got him. He's 17 and a half now. It's very different when they're old. But, um, man. But you forget until you're faced with it again. Okay, uh, hold on, Taurus. We gotta figure things out here because not only is she in the middle, now she's stretching a little on my diagonal. So it's like, if we move you around here a little bit, oh, look at that baby girl. Stay there. Hold on. All right, on your side, you get the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Wands. Um, it's something you've been putting energy in, but I feel like you just want to drop it. At least emotionally, you're kind of detached from it. Um, it could show up as something that you have been working on, and then you dropped it, and now you want to put back energy into it. I don't know. Could be that. Overall, it seems like something that you were involved in is, um, or you want to end it. You want to step out of it. I don't know. I don't know. So it looks like you're out and you want to put that out there in the universe. Okay, I'm out of this. You know? For the, uh, the connection, for the other energy attached to you, they get the Hermit, the King of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. There's a whole lot of healing on their side. There's a whole lot of healing in the dynamic with you, though. But they're going through some shifts, through some major shifts. I don't see them necessarily coming towards you. I see them being attached to you. But it's like they're doing their own thing, you're doing your own thing, kind of thing. For the connection, the Nine of Swords, the Six of Wands, the Magician. Someone's trying to manifest something here, and I feel like their manifestation is looking good, and at the same time, it's stressing them out. So it's one of those things where, oh, I feel hopeful, or I see signs that it's coming together, or that, you know, this manifestation is, is happening, it's it's coming through. But then it's like, ah, oh, man, why the hell is it coming through? It's It's actually happening, oh, you know kind of stressed out that it's coming together so i don't know it's a very weird ass energy now i don't know if that's your energy or theirs or the both of you let's see what the universe has you gave me hair on my face what is going on here what's up with the earth signs being like you know what bye um ten of swords eight of cups high priestess you're, you're being guided though, your intuition is guiding you towards dropping something, towards being like, okay, finish line is right here, we're done here. You're being intuitively guided. Because emotionally, as I said, I saw the disconnect happening before, it was a matter of when is it going to happen physically. And I feel like with the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Swords from the universe, it might be now that you're in the middle of making this happen. I don't know, but that's it. Moving on to Virgo. And she's also teething, in case you didn't notice. Chew on that. Huh? Let's see Virgo.
on your side you get the strength card the queen of wands the four of wands there's attraction there's commitment there's things being felt here and things being worked with on your side good things I'm trying to figure out um there's another energy that pops into this reading and i'm trying to figure out what the hell is it doing here it's it's almost like either you or the energy you're dealing with came in with another energy attached to them um you're looking clear for now they're looking clear too though i don't know uh again it looks like you have good energies and a lot of passion especially these days towards a particular connection uh the energy that you're dealing with they get the three of cups the hangman the ace of cups that's an energy of let's spend more time together let's all sorts of good things together they have a lot of love to give. Now, I'm not sure if they're giving it. That's my thing here. With the hangman being there, it looks like even though they carry this energy and this intention towards you, I don't know how much of that they're putting in. They're throwing your way. I have no idea. It seems like they're... Like, this energy concerns you, but I'm going to keep it to myself kind of thing, which doesn't make sense. For the connection, the emperor, the ten of swords, the lovers that's where i'm at with the other energy that's showing up it could be that something ended at some point for you or for them and there's still lingering energy from that there could be that that's kind of attached to the connection between the two of you now i don't know how much of that is being brought forward in the interaction here you two have but the energy is definitely there. The energy of the ending of something else. Let's see what the universe has. Page of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Swords. There's some pain that's being carried and brought into this mix. And it's from outside the pain. It's from another situation. And that's why there's lack of action here. Some, sometimes it seems like mm, there's little that is being done here. But because someone is kind of experiencing some other pain from someplace else, probably. Something that doesn't look to be in the picture anymore, but the pain is still there. So it's like either you or them. I don't know who brought this energy in. Have, still needs to work on it whoever whoever it is because the pain is still there and it's gonna affect this eventually you know it already kind of is indirectly but eventually it will on a bigger scale but that's it virgo oops Moving on to fire signs, Aries. On your side, you get the Ten of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. Um, Something is feeling quite hard, quite heavy. And I feel like you're having even a hard time through this to hold on to yourself, basically. To keep yourself steady through whatever it is you're experiencing. Uh, you are managing to do that, to stay grounded somehow. But there's definitely a, a heavy energy surrounding you. And because of that, it feels like it's it's hard to keep my shit together, basically. But 
there's also stubbornness to it. Like, I'm going to do it. Whatever it takes, I'm going to keep me steady. You know, uh, the energy attached to you, they get the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Six of Wands. Mm, okay, so someone here holds a lot of love for you and they feel good about it. They're also kind of stressed out that they're feeling what they're feeling almost. Like, you know, I carry these emotions for you and they're heavy and they're big and they're, I don't know. But man, it feels like shit. Like, I don't want to feel this. But they are. So I don't know who this is to you. For the connection, the magician, the page of cups, the chariot. Well, somebody's manifesting, but they're not manifesting um, properly. Let's just put it that way. Um, and I feel like it's this person attached to you here. Which I don't know if you're attached to them. They're attached to you more than you're attached to them. Um... <clears throat> the way that somebody's manifesting here is, um, you know, I hope love does come in, especially from this person, especially at this time, to no notes in a manifestation, you know, manifesting a specific person to love you um, and manifesting when it should happen. Like, I'm not in a hurry necessarily, you know, I don't want it tomorrow, but, but like a month. Is that doable, universe? No, not really. Not with the universe, no. And not when it's a person, no. Um, but let's see what the universe has. <clears throat> 10 of pentacles, five of cups, eight of swords. I kind of get this as being you uh, the probably the heavy energy you're dealing with in terms of there's something stable that might look like it's breaking or it broke already uh, something stable that you consider stable in your life and because of that you're really in your head about it you know so I don't know what that is it could even be a friendship a long time friendship um, just about anything it's weird how readings are showing up today like the main sign which is you guys are showing up connected to a specific energy and then the energy connected to you is not showing up as not necessarily the same energy that you're connected to. And I kind of got that as an overall theme for today's reading. Like there's something else out there that's attached to you that is not the energy you're dealing with. Um, but I don't know, it could be. <clears throat> But that's it. Moving on to Leo. Going more and more to the right until I'll be off the screen and you get to have Juno here. You'll be hearing a voice from that side over there. You'll be like, oh, okay. The cat is reading. The cat is reading. Let's see Leo. Yeah, cause she's, she's pushing over to that side. And I'm like, I don't have table. I mean, I have plenty of table over there. But, uh. There's Leo. There is Leo here. On your side, you get the King of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups. What would you do, Leo? Because last week you were showing me, ah, you know, my heart is shut down. Um, it looks like you carry a lot of love for someone. Here, a lot of passion, a lot of love. Um, now, I don't know if you're aligning with this love or you're just feeling it and kind of keeping it to yourself kind of feels that way more than anything maybe you are i don't know you're 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 kind of blooming into this flower of love but it's definitely directed in a particular direction now for the energy attached to you they get the uh, 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 uh eight of cups five of cups king of swords 
They're growing in confidence. They're getting past something that just didn't serve them anymore. So they're getting past that, whatever that is. It could be tied up to you. I don't know. Uh, but as they do that, I see a sense of growth in their confidence, in their approach, maybe. I don't know. Uh, for the connection, the Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Wands. It's like someone's learning to move past something to move on. Uh, there's the energy of moving on that's coming in. And someone is looking at that as an option, but they kind of don't want to. They're like, eh, I feel this energy around. I'm tuned into it, but mm, I don't necessarily want to you know there's a little bit of resistance to that uh now i don't know if that's you if that's them if that's the both of you i don't know i have no idea but let's see let's uh see what the universe has swords the six of swords the nine of wands it feels like someone's being forced to move on it kind of feels like that and because of that there's a whole lot of commotion going on at a mind level um it almost feels like because someone is going away the other person is like well i don't have any choice so i'm gonna have to do it too kind of feels like that so I don't know if that's you, it could be you, it kind of feels like it's you, but you carry a lot of love, which is okay, you can still carry a lot of love and, you know, your actions, most of the times they don't align with how you feel necessarily, and that goes for everyone, not just for you, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's like a forced letting go, a forced moving on, the way it shows up, or it seems that way, it seems that someone feels that. I don't feel like it's forced. You feel like it is if this is you or them. Um, anyways, that's it. And you started off so good. There was so much love on the other side. So much. Um, oh, come on, Juno. You can't stretch. Where are you stretching to? Keep on stretching and stretching and stretching more and more and more. Moving on to Sagittarius. sucks working on the side like this there's always a woodpecker and there's a there's a tree right here and there's always a woodpecker over there i don't know if i don't see any nests or anything but it comes to that spot all the time uh saggy on your side you get the six of swords the page of wands the eight of wands Ooh, you're stepping into a nice brand new energy here, you know, an energy of curiosity or maybe you, you are dealing with something that sparks your curiosity all of a sudden. It's like, oh, I'm open. Uh, you seem to be and there seems to be some exchange of energy in this situation. But I feel like you're stepping in this energy only because you're walking away from something more troublesome. Um, which I don't know. I'm not clarifying. I don't know what that is. And the energy attached to you, they get the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups. Huh. It could be, I see a, a sense of, almost like, like you know how someone goes to an interview for a job and then they're like oh you got picked you're you're you know here's the job the job is yours uh out of but it is there seems to be more options and it's like you're it 
So this could be the energy that you're heading towards with this, oh, nice, you know, yeah, let's let's go do this. Because that's what's coming through from their side, kind of like it's you. Their energy is directed towards you out of possible multiple choices here. You know, you're it. For the connection, the Knight of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles. There seems to be some conflict, some not being on the same page when it comes to possibly beliefs, possibly the way you envision stability and something and the way they do. There seems to be a mismatch, a we just don't see things in the same way. And it could create conflict because someone is looking to be more passionate, more, no, you have to see things my way. Instead of just kind of, okay, I see it the way I see it, you see it the way you see it. Acceptance, you know. Um, so I don't know if that's you, the, the more passionate one or the other energy you're dealing with. But there seems to be a little bit of raw. See things my way. Now. Eh, uh, uh, I'm not into that kind of a exchange of energy. But uh, let's see what the universe has. No, universe, that's too many. That is too many. Interesting, because the lovers was at the bottom of the deck where it fell, and now it's coming up here. The lovers, the ten of cups, the seven of pentacles. definitely a significant connection in your life whatever this is even if it's work it's definitely very significant um you're working together towards the same goal by the looks of it it's just the way you approach it the way you come at it the way they come at it is a little different and it could cause a little mismatch a little friction there uh, but the overall goal is the same though you know it's, it's very matching energies. It's very, I want to do this. Well, I want to do this too. The intention looks the same. The goal looks the same. The way you handle it might be a little different. And that's where it can cause a little conflict here between the two of you. But that's all there is to it. Once you figure out that maybe I should accept that they're different in their approach. And maybe they should accept that I'm different in mine. Maybe things are going to work out. I don't know. But that's it. Did I wake you from your sleeping table? You. You. Uh, let's see. Moving on to air signs. Libra. some more grooming no not no no that's definitely not a good position no she took over all of this space here all of it not all of it there's a little bit of a room over there i don't have room for libra's cards in there girl look at this look how pretty it is from this side uh-huh Let's see, Libra. Man, I love this. Okay, so on your side, you get the Knight of Cups, the Justice card, the Six of Wands. Something is working out here in a particular dynamic you have with someone else. Now, I don't know what this is about. It could be a collaboration you have with someone. It could even be love, yes. It could be just about anything, but something is really feeling good on your side, at least from your perspective. Um, there's a sense of achievement, there's love being put into the situation, and there's you standing in your power in it, which is telling me, okay, this feels good to Libra. Um, 
For the energy attached to you, they get the Ten of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. I don't know, something is forming here, but something that's going to lead to stability. I feel like it's already kind of there somehow, but it's still a work in progress kind of thing. So on their side, they have the openness for it, they have the energy, um, they bring something to it, you know, something good to it. And they keep themselves open, so they're not just like, oh, I brought in the good energy, my job is done here. No, they keep themselves open in that flow. Um, for the connection, the Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Cups. There's definitely a good dynamic here at stake between you and another uh, person. There's a working together, teamwork kind of situation going on, which can touch, again, workplace, friendship, love, whatever it is. Uh, there's a little bit of overthinking. There's a little bit of uh, how do we make this uh, feel more balanced, more happy, more... You just do. You just feel it because it's there. When the mind steps in the way, it's going to feel a little more complicated, which in fact it isn't. The energies are showing that things seem pretty balanced, pretty good. Just be with the feeling of that instead of complicating that feeling. Like, nah, it feels too good to be true kind of thing. You know, I don't know. Um, let's see what the universe has. Oh. Sleepy, sleepy, sleep. The Justice card, the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, even from the universe, at least on your side, there seems to be uh, effort being put in the situation. There seems to be good energy building up in here. And it leads you, I mean, this energy alone is providing that sense of, I've got this. Everything's going out fine. Everything's perfect in here. Not perfect, but it gives you that sense of self-empowerment, you know? Um, like it helps you sustain that balanced place within you, within your life, basically. So I don't know, I don't know what this is, but it looks like it's working out for you. Great. She keeps on heading in this direction all the freaking time. I keep on moving her. She keeps on gaining a, an inch at a time. And, you know, next thing I know, she's on top of things there. Uh, Aquarius. Let's see. On your side, you get the Judgment card, the King of Cups, the Two of Pentacles. I feel like you carry love for a particular person, um, and you're probably in this place of deciding whether or not you should pursue it. Uh, there's indecision here on your side, so I don't see you going for yes, I don't see you going for no. I see you there in the middle, you know? Um, so it's a tough one here to decide, apparently, but you're in the middle of... Making a decision for the energy you're dealing with, the Four of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. They're in the middle of healing. They're showing me, I want balance. I want for things to be right between me and Aquarius. Um, that's their intention. Now, what they're doing is going against that, uh, which I don't know. There's an energy attached to them that goes against, I want balance with Aquarius, you know? Um, they're healing so that's a good sign that maybe they'll catch that resistance and they'll drop it because again their intention is that of balance their action maybe not aligned with their intention uh for the connection the five of pentacles the king of wands the ace of swords yeah there seems to be a separation or something that 
broke this off at some point. Uh, but there also seems to be a lot of pa um, passion standing, you know, being alive and kicking between the two of you. And from that point, the energy of I want to do something about it comes uh, from, from this place of passion. And I feel like you both carry this place and this intention. Now, you could be indecisive because they're in this crisis of, look, I want for things to work out, but everything they do goes against that. So it's like, okay, so then when should I act? Should I act? Because you're, you're telling me something, you're doing something else kind of thing, you know? So kind of a tough spot for you to be in, um, especially if you're waiting on them to make up their mind. It's more like, what are you aligned with? What do you want to do? What feels right for you? You know, because there's always going to be resistant energies at play. Are we just going to not feel what we feel? Because we're dealing with something that, I don't know. Uh, let's see what the universe has. Ten of Swords, Four of Cups, Three of Cups. Yeah, I mean, there is a split. There is something going on. There could be a breakup or something like that. Um, but neither of you are liking it, you know, there's the energy of coming back together, you know, with love, with peace, with harmony, um, neither of you are liking the energy of the split there, but it's there. So that's it. That's what I have for you. Do you know, what are you doing? All right, moving on to Gemini taking back my corner because she's going to bed. To the uh, upper bed. This is the lower bed. That's the upper bed. Okay, so on your side, you get the Emperor, the Six of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles. You're stepping into your power big time. You're feeling a sense of confidence. You're feeling good about where you're at, what you achieved, where you're going. It, overall, you're stepping into a place of, man, I got this, you know? Um, now, the way it's coming through this reading for you, it's like I'm reading you individually, which is always like that. But it's like you're doing your own thing, they're doing their own thing, and then the connected energy seems a little there's something when you put those two together it's like ew um on their side the queen of wands the page of cups the justice card they're showing up from a place of passion of love of wanting for things to be maybe fixed or maybe balanced out between the two of you but they're showing me passion and love towards you so that's good. For the connection, the Three of Swords, the Fool, the Page of Swords. There's some pain. There's some pain here. Again, when you put those energies together, it's like, ooh, ouch. There's some pain that either was created before between the two of you. But even if there's pain, there's still a, a sense of, I want this. And I feel like it's on both sides. Um, now, the intention comes through as I want this. The action around that. Eesh. Eesh. I feel like the action is eek because of the pain that's there. You know, there's still a little bit of, mm, I'm uncomfortable. There's something that I'm feeling about this. I want to do this really, really bad, but, but. And when the but comes in, that actually translates into pain. You know, um, so I don't see much action here. It could be a little bit, but the intention is bigger than what the action is. And it's okay. It's okay. You know, that pain needs healing. Um, 
you kind of healed your own pain to get to this place they healed theirs but when you put put it together it creates a third energy between the two of you and it's like that energy's pain needs to be healed as well even if you did your thing individually they did their thing individually there's another little pain you know let's see from the universe the ace of wands the ten of wands the six of swords it feels like there is desire here for things to move properly in this dynamic, in this connection. But as the desire increases, so does the heaviness of things not necessarily going in that direction. And when the heaviness grows to the point of it just wanting to blow up, it's like, ah, uh, you know what? Let me let me move away from this. I don't like how it feels. It feels not good. So I'll just I'll just drop it all. And then it comes back. And then it kind of fades away into I'll just drop it and then comes back so I see this as a like, like it's not the first time you've experienced this whole sense of oof building up in energy and then kind of walking away from it so I don't know who walks away from it to me it feels like it's the both of you but uh, I don't know could be just you or it could be just them So Gemini. Moving on to water signs, Pisces. I, I put it back in the deck and I tried to shuffle and then it came back out. I'm like, okay, okay, I got it. The same, like sticking out. Like, okay, okay, I got you. I didn't get it the first time, but the second time I get a hint. So what came out here, roughly in my face, on your side, the Justice card, the King of Swords, the Six of Pentacles. Man, that's a lot of balance here. Uh, that you are not only wanting to achieve in the situation, you are achieving it. There's definitely a, a dynamic of equal give and take, a, a beautiful exchange of energies here. Uh, and it's coming from you. You're somehow creating it. Either you started it, started it, started, 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 started it. Why did I put so many D's and started it? In? Anyways, either you started it or... Um, It's like you're the coordinator of this. It's like you're making it happen. You're, you know, pointing the fingers, pressing the buttons for this to happen, but not in a controlling way. It's you're orchestrating this somehow. I don't know. I don't know. But it's it's kind of nice, especially knowing that you're doing this. You know, uh, for the energy attached to you, the four of swords, the seven of pentacles, the sun. Someone is healing here from what you're creating here. Someone is, it's like helping someone to heal and almost achieve happiness. They're heading in that direction, definitely, of achieving happiness. But it's from this energy exchange with you. I don't think this is love. I think this is connected to you closely to your heart but i don't know if this is love necessarily it could be something else around you anyway um like love relationship i mean uh for the connection the judgment card the eight of cups the king of pentacles there's a sense of growth here big time growth the material world especially is growing it's creating a sense of stability and i'm not surprised with the justice and the six of pentacles in there there's a sense of when you look left, when you look right, everything seems settled. Everything seems grounded. And that's the sense of stability that I'm referring to. Not necessarily that you're growing financially, which could apply to this situation, because usually the universe kind of rewards you in that way, in terms of that's your reward for planet Earth. It needs to be paid for or something like that. Um, 
you're shedding a lot. You're shedding a lot of the things that um, you don't need. And not only you, this other energy connected to you, which I feel like it's not a one single energy. It's almost like you're creating something that helps other energies around you. And it's helping you as well shed and transmute energy that you no longer need. You know, so I don't know what the hell this is. And it's helping you grow in the material world. I don't know, maybe you started a, a business of some sort or something. Possibly healing. Um, let's see what the universe has. The High Priestess, the Eight of Wands, the World card. But you're doing it differently. That's the thing. You, you, something is shifting here for you where you, you're coming from a place of, it was good for where you were at while you were doing it. You were being guided by your intuition and how to work with things, how to deal with things. And I feel like you're doing kind of the same thing, but you stepped up in the way you do it and the way you put it out there for whatever energies you're working with. Um, because there's a closure to a cycle in the way that you used to do it, being guided by your intuition. I did this because I was led to do this and blah, blah, blah. And now in the energies that are showing up, it's like a step up, a big step up. Well, I don't know. I don't know. It feels good to me. It feels good to me. It's, it feels like you're at the next level. Um, That's it. Moving on to Scorpio. On your side, you got the Strength card, the Six of Cups, the Ace of Swords. Scorpio, I feel like this is quite similar to your most recent reading. Um, there's a sense of recognition and of your energy going in the direction of a soul connection. Now, this could be a new soul connection that's popping in. It could be someone that was already there in your life for quite some time. I don't know. Um, but there's you gaining up the courage to allow yourself to give energy to this. And I feel like you are doing that, exactly. It took a lot, but you're allowing this to happen, at least on your side, in the way your energy is flowing towards this. Uh, the energy attached to you, the King of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Swords, very passionate energy. They give out a lot of passion. So I'm not surprised you would be drawn to this. Now, the way they are, are, just the way they are, could be a little bit sharp. They carry a lot of passion, but they seem to function, at least for now, from that perspective of, they may show up a little sharp, a little, let's go, chop, chop, kind of, I don't know, there's, there's an energy of uh, like this, you know, like this, like this, like this this like this like this like this uh but very chop chop about it i don't know it's not a bad thing it's not necessarily a bad thing they they seem to be functioning in that way at least for now they could appear disconnected from their emotions but i don't think that they are i don't think that they are um from for the connection you get the temperance card the four of swords the chariot yeah i feel like this showed up exactly like this the temperance and the chariot was it you i think it was you i don't know there's just a whole lot of healing coming through 
even through this connection, you know. Um, so whatever it is that you're experiencing through this is very healing for you. Um, the energy seem to be quite off-putting. There's a, there's a, it's like it almost challenges you to recognize when the energies are moving slower and to be patient through them. And then when the energies are picking up the pace and when they pick up the pace, it's like you're sprinting through them. So it's, it's, it feels like maybe that's the lesson where things are happening a lot when they do happen, but when they don't happen, nothing is happening kind of thing. It's kind of looking like that, which can be very challenging and very teaching to you. I don't know. Let's see what the universe has. Six of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Yeah, you're stepping away from this place of I'm Scorpio, hear me sting, or whatever it is you do. Uh, you were in a good place. I feel like you found your stability, your place of you being you, Scorpio, right? I'm, I'm, I'm good at where I'm at. Uh, you're stepping out of this place of singlehood um, as you start giving energy to this situation. Now, I don't know where this is going. I feel like this is just kind of the beginning or... It's, the energy surrounding it, it looks like it, it's the beginning, but it's going to go someplace. It's not there yet. But I feel like there's a little bit of sorrow, a little bit of regret, a little bit of, man, I just found myself. And I was good where I was at. And now I got to go chase another energy. Or you're not chasing it. That's the thing. You're giving to it. You're not chasing it. It's not like, oh my God, I can't live without this energy. It doesn't feel like that. It feels like something new and something that you are willingly giving to but there's a little bit of, man, just when I found myself there, bam, this situation steps in. I don't know. Quite interesting. But that's it. All right, moving on to Cancer. On your side, you get the um, Eight of Pentacles, the Moon card, the Justice card. You're working on something here, but I feel like you're keeping it a secret. Or you're keeping it to yourself. I don't know exactly what the hell um, is happening. It feels like it's working out, like, okay, you know, but it's an energy that... It seems to be involving another energy you're dealing with. And when you keep it to yourself, it's like not sharing energy with the other energy. And I don't know how beneficial that's going to be on the long run. It seems like it's working out for now. But it's an energy that needs to be shared. And for now, it's not. Okay. On uh, their side, the Judgment card, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups... Well, they're definitely going through a lot of growth, a lot of... It, it's quite contrasting, because on the one hand, you're showing me, you know what? I'm not going to give anything in this. I'm going to keep it all hidden. And then they're showing me, I'm putting everything out there. It's like this and this, like huge. So it's... Mm. It's good. On their side, there seems to be happiness. There seems to be a place of self-care, self-love, healing. <clears throat> it brings out a lot for them. For the connection, the tower, the two of 
Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, a whole lot of mess in there, in the connection. And it makes sense. Just from what I've shown you, like on one side, it's shown up like this and on the other, like pff, exploding. They're not gonna match. Th these energies are not gonna match. That's why it's like this one needs to share, needs to open up so that it grows and matches this other one that's open, you know? I don't know, roles can be reversed here, but there's definitely a sense of, no, I'm just gonna do this. Nobody's really gonna know what it's about, but I'm not sharing this energy for now until it's ready, until it's cooked. I'm not sharing it with anyone. When it's ready, I will. Mm, not really, it's not gonna work out necessarily because as I said, there's a mismatch. And it's like, there's doubt, indecision, there's, I don't know, I don't know, there's a whole lot of overthinking. Why is it not working out? Why? And a whole lot of you're attracting not great energies, misaligned energies. Because this energy is misaligned, you're attracting misaligned energies. So whatever bad luck is coming through, it's because of this lack of alignment. Let's see what the universe has. The Nine of Pentacles, the Chariot, the Seven of Pentacles. You're working on yourself. You're working on your stability, your sense of stepping into your power. And that's great. Why would you want to keep that to yourself? You know? It's quite the opposite. Like, if you put it out there and somebody has a problem with it, that's like a test for you. To be like, oh, no, I'm still going to do it. So what if it looks weird to some? It's kind of like your test, you know? When you're still standing in your truth in front of others that disagree, fuck that shit. If it's your truth, it's your truth. They can't take away from it unless you let them. So this is beautiful what you're working on. Just put it out there a little more. Just open it up to the world. The universe is happy to see that. It's like, oh, finally, another one that steps into their truth, you know? Because there's plenty of those that don't. The universe is kind of fed up probably by now with, really? Um, it's beautiful work what you're doing here. Don't, don't keep it to yourself. Put it out there. You know, to the people around you especially. That's how it starts. And then to the whole freaking universe. Um, so, yeah. That's it. That is it. I have nothing more to say except that I'm starting to get hungry. And to me, it's a very thin line between hungry and hangry. Um, so I'm going to go eat. Do you know, sleeping. Boys are... Yeah, Felix is in the tree sleeping. Kai is probably sleeping in his little hammock. Oscar is definitely sleeping. So that's my cue to go eat. And um, then probably sleep, join them. So um, that's it. Stay tuned for... As I said, I don't, I, I don't want to, it's not that I don't want to put it out there yet, but we don't have the details set up quite yet. And when we'll know, trust me, you'll know um, about the collaboration that's most likely to happen next Friday. So a week from now uh, at around noon or one-ish. Man, I'm bad with time. You'll know, you'll know, because fortunately I'll have it written down. Uh, if it were up to me to announce it to you, you would have probably no clue because I have no clue. So but given that it's going to be written down, then I'll show up for that time. Uh, but that's it. That's what I got for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, liking, uh, sharing, whatever it is you're doing out there with these videos. It's appreciated. Uh, your donations, your time, your to the members. Oh, members. Um, I didn't promise, but I did say when I started the membership that sometimes I'll be going live, you know, with a higher tier to talk to you guys a little bit here and there. I might take you in the basement this week, you know, while I work on there to finish it up and talk to you guys for a little bit. I might. 
um, if I don't get too busy and wrapped up. When I go in there, I lose track of time. You know, I start putting stuff on the walls and all sorts of little things. And then I'm like, oh man, I don't know what day it is. I don't know what time it is. What, who am I? You know, I, I don't know. It feels very good for me, but, but I might. So keep an eye out for a little bit of an announcement if that's the case, because I want to keep you in tune with that. Hopefully, hopefully I'm, I'm not just going to go, hey, members, let's go live now. I might do that too because I'm crazy like that and I have no notion of time. I don't, I don't know. But anyways, that might happen. Not making any promises in case I forget. But so see you guys next time. Bye.